Hello everyone. In last lecture, I taught Spearsman rank correlation for unequal uh, rank. Now in this lecture, we will see Spearsman rank correlation for equal rank. So in last lecture, I have explained this concept of capital R Spearsman rank correlation, and uh, we have done this question when rank is not given. For unequal rank, now we will solve this question when rank is not given, and uh, this is case of uh, equal rank or tied rank. So again, we have same type of question, just like this. Eight students are there, and their marks in maths and physics are given, and you need to find a correlation between them. So now we have again two. columns first marks in math second is marks in physics now we will find first rank so first rank column we will prepare for maths this is r1 and this is for r2 rank in physics now highest number in maths highest marks in maths is 95 so we will put rank 1 and second highest marks in this uh, maths is 2 on 89 so rank is 2 and third number is 78 so rank is 3 now next number for our uh, next rank this is 61 and this 61 is two times now as per the sequence of rank 1 2 3 next two ranks are 4 and 5 okay so if you will put 4 here and 5 here then this is kind of partiality so in that situation what you will do so now the number is 61 and this is two times and two ranks are what two ranks are what 4 and 5 so we will take average of this 4 and 5 so 4 plus 5 divided by 2 so you will get 4.5 so we will put 4.5 for this 61 and 4.5 for this 61 now next number is 58 this is again two times now we have used rank up to 5 now next rank is what 6 and this 58 is two times so 58 is two times so we need two ranks first is 6 and second is 7 and we will take average of these two so average of these two is what 6.5 so we will put 6.5 for this 58 and 6.5 for this 58 now next number is 35 and we have used rank up to 7 now next rank is what 8 8 is for 35 now in second rank in physics so highest marks in this case is 85 and this is 3 times so 85 3 times and we need three ranks first three ranks are 1 2 3 and now we will take their average so their average is what 2 so we will put 2 for this first 85 2 for this 85 and 2 for this 85 now we have used rank up to 3 now next rank is 4 and next number is what 68 so rank is 4 next number is 62 rank is what 5 next number is uh, 56 rank is 6 next number is 50 so rank is 7 next number is what 45 so rank is what 8 so in this case you will see in rank 1 column and in rank 2 column some numbers are repeated some ranks are repeated so now what we will do with these repeated ranks okay so in column r1 first repeated rank is what 45 and this is two times so rank 45 and this is two times and second rank in this same column is 6.5 and this is again two times and in this second column two rank two and this is three times so we will not consider these ranks we will consider only repetitions means this two this two this three and this repetition are represented by ms so this is considered as m1 this is considered as m2 and this is considered as what m3 so you can interchange their representation you can take this first as m3 second is uh, m1 m2 doesn't matter you can replace 
uh, anyone. So now we will see formula for equal rank. These M's are what? These are repetition of different ranks. So formula of equal rank is this. This is R equals to 1 minus 6. Just like this formula 6. Summation D square is there. Summation D square also there. And numerator, denominator part is also same. We will include term for M's. This is for M1. This is for M2. As with our case, we have 3 M. So you can increase more M's. Or if you have only 1 M, then you can decrease this M. So now I am copying this formula once again. So this formula I am copying. So this one, this is the formula. Now in this formula you need D square. So first you will prepare column for D and D equals to what? D equals to same thing R1 minus R2. So D equals to R1 minus R2. So first D is what? 2 minus 2. That is 2 minus 2 equals to 0 and then 1 minus 2 that is minus 1. 8 minus 7 is 1, 4.5 minus 5 is minus 0 0.5 and second is uh, minus 1.5 and third is 0 0.5 positive and next is 4.5 minus 4 that is 0 0.5 and next is 3 minus 2 is 1 and then we will prepare column for d square because our requirement is this summation d square. So a square of 0 is 0, a square of 1 is 1, 1 and the square of this is 0 0.25 and the square of this is 2.25 and the square of this is 0 0.5 the square of this is 0. Point, this is not 5 this is 0 0.5 this is 0 0.25 and the square of this is again 0 0.25 and last is 1 so summation of all these numbers is summation d square that is 6. Now n in this case again 8. Now we will put all these values in this formula. So you will see this r equals to 1 minus so first this is 6 and then summation d square, summation d square again 6. So this is 6 and plus 1 upon 12 and this is m1, m1 cube. So in this case m1 we have this 2. So we will put 2 cube minus 2 plus this is 1 upon 12 and then m2, m2 again 2. So we will put 2q once again. So 2q minus 2 plus and there is one more m. So we will include one more space for third m and m3 is equal to what? 3. So you will put 3q minus 3 and bracket close and this divided by 8 observation n equals to 8 and this is the square of 8 minus 1. So solution of this is very simple. So you will write this R equals to 1 minus and uh, fraction line and this is 6 and this is 6 and this is what? So 2, 2, 4, 2, 8 minus 2 is 6, 6 upon 12 that is what? 0 0.5 and for this term also same calculation this is 0 0.5. And for next, this is 3, 3, 9, 3, 27, minus 3 is 24, upon 12, that is what? 2. Now bracket close, and this divided by 8, and 8 square is 64, 64 minus 1 is what? 63. So summation of this is what? 1 minus, this is 6, and into. So summation of this is what? 9, 6 plus 0.5 plus 0.5 plus 2, that is what? 9. And this divided by 8 into 63. So this is 9, 7, ja, 
and on solving this you will get plus 0.89 something. So again you will see there is positive correlation R. So we can say there is positive correlation between two subjects maths and physics. Correlation between two subjects maths and physics. So this is the concept of rank correlation. This is second part when ranks are unequal. When ranks are equal. And in previous case I taught when ranks are equal. Okay. So in this case, in this whole concept of R, you will see two forms. First when rank is given, second when rank is not given. And then you will find rank. If rank is already given, then directly you will apply a formula. Uh, you will see this is a case of unequal rank or equal rank, then you will apply formula. So this is overall curl Spearsman rank correlation coefficient. So I hope you understand this concept. So please like this video and subscribe my channel, Ganit Coach. Have a nice day. Thank you.